Good morning, YouTube. My name is Vern Six KV Five SIX. I thought I'd just do a real quick video now that I have the shack somewhat finished and put together. So I just wanted to kind of give everybody kind of a walk through here and kind of uh, show what we got going on. So I'm gonna back up here to the main doors over here. Let's see if I can zoom this out any at all. There we go. Kind of a cluttered toolbox. I got to put the uh, air compressor thing back in the truck after I charge the batteries but uh, this is just kind of an old toolbox I had it contains most of the tools that I use for stuff that's outdoors um, as we walk in here that's my office in there it's kind of a disaster this is the actual ham radio desk um, let's kind of go through this a little bit I haven't got the computer hooked up yet but I've got a ALS uh, 600 amplifier Puts out about 585 uh, watts, I guess. Um, a Radio Shack DX394 uh, shortwave radio for listening. This is my YouTube uh, counter display that I don't really have plugged in just yet. I've got to put together my uh, Kenwood 2 meter 440 uh, APRS unit. I'm going to put that in here through the mobile radio. But next to that's my Flex 6400. Um, the little ICOM SP23 external speaker, uh, the Astron 35 uh, VS35M linear amplifier. I'm sorry, not amplifier, uh, power supply. Um, on top of that, my scanner, ICOM 9700 for tracking satellites and that sort of thing. Then I've got uh, the best uh, find I've ever had at a uh, ham fest. The uh, Yezu FT991 Alpha, I got that for $300. It's just crazy. Below that, with the dust cover on it, is my ICOM 7300. And then, of course, my Palstar AT2K manual balance line uh, tuner. I'll kind of step out here and let you see the actual deal there. Oh, and this TV up here, I'm going to be building me a Raspberry Pi uh, ham clock app up there. A um, couple clocks up there a little spark gap uh bug zapper we got a lot of bugs out here on the farm you know just the uh flies and stuff that's the ht uh shelf and some different coax a bunch of bags that i'm gonna try to go through up here is pretty much everything i've gotten at the uh, ham fest in the past couple weeks and uh just gonna go through it and probably shoot some videos about it and then this is my big toolbox of just pretty much everything I use in the uh, in the shack. I don't I try not to let any of these tools go outside, but I'll just show you a quick little drawer. I mean, for instance, this is the one I got labeled as measuring, um, you know, that sort of thing. Um, part of my uh, Nipix or how you pronounce that uh, collection there. Um, just different drill bits, diff you know. Just various different things um, that are here. Um, you know, all kinds of crimpers and specialty tools and hot glue guns and miscellaneous cables. I got a couple. If, if the drawer doesn't have a label on it, then it's a uh, it's a vacant yet. Okay, over here's obviously the restroom in this area. It's got a shower and toilet and everything. We don't need to go in there, I suppose. Over here on this first desk is my soldering. I'm sorry, is my uh, microscope. My soldering table's over here, actually. But uh, this is kind of a nice little feature. Got a uh, moving light, and of course it lights up and does all kinds of different things. You can change the brightness and the hue and what have you. I just typically store that out of the way. Put it over here. My wall of screwdrivers and tools. My overhead light, uh, sound generator, signal generator, whatever, and the Rigel uh, oscilloscope. I've got a, a spectrum analyzer that's coming. Um, got a fluke meter there. Got another fluke meter over here. Sometimes you want to measure current. Sometimes you want to measure something else. And so, um, soldering pot and soldering station, um, smoke eater for the solder. Variable uh, DC power supply. You can adjust voltage or current. Um, 
So those little handy things. Um, nice little magnifying glass, a LCR uh, meter down there in that uh, case there. I'm working on this LED light that's here. That's why you see the tape and the LED. And of course, everybody knows me. I drink tons of iced tea, and that's in my coffee and ham radios tumbler. Up above here, put a shelf that runs the entire length of this little building. Just uh, got a variety of things stored up here. We even used stuff on top of the refrigerator. Had to put all the paint and uh, all the uh, caulking inside. We left it outside in our Conic storage uh, uh, container, shipping container, and it uh, kind of exploded. I mean, it didn't, you know, didn't do too well in the extreme heat. Over here was the kitchen for this uh, little shack that was here. We took out the stove. I'm not going to be, do the stove was right here in this area. I'm not going to be doing any cooking over here per se. I got a little hot pot to boil some water for tea. Got a little coffee pot back there and for a couple cups and another one here for when I need to do a bigger. Just more stuff here. I took the doors off this side of the cabinet. And more stuff here. Just different components and stuff. And then things like this, just tons of nuts and bolts. And that's about all that's in any of these drawers, really. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to back away here. This is the, uh, that's the entry door. And uh, kind of see it's uh, about a 12 by 28 room, uh, 12 by 28 building, actually, the restroom included. So it's not just huge. And of course, my office just has a ton of stuff in there, a bunch of empty boxes and stuff. But uh, that's my office. Um, I guess we can go in here. The red toolbox, that's completely full of all my Dremel stuff. We had originally intended for to come in this door when we had finished this room here out. Um, and then we put in this walkway through here. So now I come in the other door, and so we just sealed that door up. And got a little... Uh, Extra long uh, bed there, um, very, very comfortable. It's meant for long-term care for when I had cancer, um, basically make sure I don't get bed sores and that sort of stuff. So just decided to go ahead and put it in here for when I need a little nap. Got a recliner, got some shelving stuff. We're gonna put some shelving up here. Gonna use every space we can, basically. And of course, a 75-inch TV. And uh, just kinda go around there, more storage. This is where I actually work. It's a sit-stand desk. It's a cluttered mess back in here. That's my computer up on top. And uh, this will all be cleaned up. And then we've still got to trim the expanded foam that we put along the doorway. So don't, don't think we're finished because we're not. Up here in this area is going to be my computer rack, um, networking rack, that's currently over in the other building. But uh, So now we'll go back in here and kind of get a feel for what's what it's like to be in this shack. It's a uh, sure a lot of fun. That uh, bug zapper is just crazy. A little fly will fly in there and it sounds like a gunshot went off. So if we hear that, it'll be surprised if I don't shake so much and drop the camera. But uh, so anyhow, this is what we got going on. Um, we got a lot of stuff, projects happening outside as well. And uh, basically the uh, tower is going uh, to have its uh, hole dug today and uh, we've got a lot of other stuff going on outside so well that's uh that's it that's kind of a tour of the shack as it stands today today is november 1st 2023 and we will be doing a couple of these videos as we continue to improve this and uh, i appreciate everybody's interest so y'all take care 73 kv5 six